Hello everyone, and we are looking at the Catadin Vario Microfilter. And this was received from Prepared.pro. Instead of Prepared.com, this is Prepared.pro. They say they sell a wide variety of survival goods, water filters, just all kind of stuff. The filter is supposed to have a rating of about 500 gallons, depending on the quality of the water. I mean, if you're filtering real muddy water, dirty water, of course the life, the life expectancy of the filters is going to go down. So let's open this thing up and take a look at it. Let's this thing open up anyway. There we go. Alright, you got your main filter. Got your tube, bottle clip. Alright. It doesn't have one of those... Um, screw on things that's supposed to fit sports bottles, carrying bag, and silicon lubricant. Alright, let's open this up. Alright, I like that. Is that everything is not inside of a nice carry bag. And if you've bought catted in products before, you should recognize this. This has been a lot of their, their products. And there we go. Alright, how's this thing supposed to work? Directions up underneath there. All right, let's get rid of the box. We've got. How's this thing supposed to all go together? All right, let's take a look. Let's see what's inside this bag. Got your outlet hose. And what the one thing I like like about this is that it's got the clip. For the hose to put on the side of the bottle, and a lot of these, a lot of these companies add a a like a lid for sport, supposed to fit sports bottles, but if you've got a canteen, it doesn't do any good. It's it's that one lid does not fit all, but something like this spring does. Where you just clip it on the side of the water bottle, regardless of what size lid you got, and you're good to go. What else do we have here? O-ring replacement O-rings, very good. Little. Um, like a silicon grease intake hose and pre-filter. All right. For spot for your inlet hose. You have a spot for your outlet hose. This thing's going to be a little firm. You're going to take and just kind of twist it a little bit. Be careful. You've got a, your ceramic pre-filter that fits on top of your regular filter. If y'all want to know where we're at, get on Google Earth. Find Jasper, Texas. The zip code is 75951. Go west just a little while to Steinhagen Reservoir. It's where the Natchez and the Angelina River running together and then going to Steinhagen. We are where the Natchez and the uh, Angelina River meet. And the entrance where they meet is probably about a quarter mile that away. So what I did so I brought a bottle, a 32 ounce bottle of water from the house. I'm going to do, pour this out. There we go. As you can see, it's empty. Stay empty. Take this Catadin Vario water filter. Twist it a little bit. This is a. This is something new to me. I haven't seen these that go on the uh, these little clips that go on the water bottle. I'm used to the ones that uh, whoop, like 
that, I guess. Oh, it looks good to me. It's a gar hit right there. What it is is the filter has got carbon in the middle of it to remove any of the little carbon particles. And just to flush the filter out, you want to run it, say a quart, a couple of quarts through it. All right, people, I think I have it figured out. Is that whenever I took this filter apart for the first segment of the video, I did not put it back together right. There's a notch right here that is for your flow. It's like it has slower flow, but longer filter life. And over here it has uh, faster flow, uh, shorter filter life, longer life, shorter flow. So what it is is these notches have to be aligned up just right. And there's a notch right there, I guess, for the indicator of where you want it to be at, whether shorter life or longer life with the filter, faster flow, shorter flow. And that's where I messed up. What happened was it was not, couldn't go all the way down because these notches were not lined up. And, hang on. This thing here was not pushed down all the way. There's a, a O-ring gasket underneath there and it was not sealing off properly because I didn't have these lined up. I'm going to put the ceramic filter back on. Yeah. Now you want to leave enough. It's not going to seal off real tight. Leave where air can get out of it. And that's all the water I'm going to drink. Nothing but fill this filtered water for the rest of the trip. I know it works whether I get sick or not. Because this water, every once in a while, the health department will get reports of like Shigella, E. coli, stuff like that from people that have been swimming in the river and lakes around here. So if I drink enough of it, I'll let y'all know whether I get sick or not. If I don't get sick, then I know the water will fill to work. Now that, we used, now that we have used the water filter, it's time to clean it. This is very important that you clean your water filter immediately after any hiking, camping trip, boating trip, anywhere that you may use it. And what we have here is just a pitcher of water. I don't know, half a gallon. This, yeah, half a gallon sounds good, gallon, whatever, whatever you got. We have here a juice glass. It's about half full. I'm gonna say, let's say four ounces of, of uh, Clorox, unscented, regular bleach. I guess this is maybe eight ounces, so say four ounces of bleach. I'm not gonna play scientist here and say that you only need a couple of ounces of water, I mean only a couple of ounces of bleach to do this job. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna cycle through, and I've got the end, the bottom of the water filter down there in case any bacteria or anything is leaked inside of there. I want to make sure that I'm spraying that down with, uh, with the bleach solution as well. That is sure to kill anything in there. There we go. Now what I'm going to do is just take all this apart. how I clean my filter may be different than the way you do it. This is the way that I like to do it, so you, know, you do yours a different way, and so be it. I'll come in here and rotate all these parts out. Like roll the filter, flip the ceramic filter over, and just smell the bleach on it, but I'll, I just wanted to let it air dry for say 24 to 36 hours. I'm doing this on a Saturday. 
Say so Sunday evening, I'll come in and make sure everything's nice and dry. I'll rotate the filter a couple of times, flip the ceramic filter over, make sure everything's nice and dry. Then I'll put it back in the storage bag and it's ready to go next time. And by cycling bleach through it, anything that made that was stopped with this filter, I know has been killed. Whether it's viruses, bacteria, whatever, just using that much, ju that much, uh, say four ounces of that juice glass. And with the regular water, you've got an overbearing smell of, of bleach, but you're assured that anything that was in there is now dead. All right, people, I'll talk to you later.